Okay. Hello, everybody. Giving a few more minutes. So, so jumping in. All right, can everybody hear me? Can I get a yes, thumbs up, anything? Yes, thank you, awesome. All right, guys, so we're gonna get started. Uh, I gave it a few minutes here. We have about 15 people already that has joined in. I am in the Miami Lakes office. If anybody wants to come today for the rest of the afternoon, I'll be here after the training, maybe for about an hour or so, um, unless you guys need me for longer. My name is Rosie. I am a loan officer at PRMG. So I am, I'll probably be coming here a few times a month. I'm also in Doral, if you're in that area. And obviously we have the office in, in Dalen, which is very exciting. We have a new one coming up. So, hello? Who's that? Okay, there we go. All right, all right, guys. So, um, if you want to unmute yourself at any time, I love participation. Yes, it's very boring when I'm talking here to you guys and I don't see anybody else on camera for an hour. Um, so, if you guys can, or if you can, hopefully you're not sleeping right now or anything. But if you can, uh, show your face. I would love to see your face, see some reactions, uh, interaction. I love that. Okay. Um, and please unmute yourself and ask any questions along the process. You don't have to wait until the end of the training to ask me anything. Okay. Awesome. Let's get started. Alrighty. So let me share my screen here really quick. I am going to share with you guys the uh, guidelines that we have, the lender guidelines for this hometown hero program. Woo. All right. I got someone's on camera. Nice. Awesome. Let's see who's next. Alrighty. So I'm going to share with you guys the, um, guidelines. So we can talk about them. I have flyers. If you are interested in getting these flyers out to your social media, to Facebook, send them to your to your clients. Let me know. Send me privately my via message. I'll, I'll send you guys here the my information, or send me via WhatsApp. Whatever is best for you. Email doesn't really matter. Um, your information, your business card, your picture, so I can add you. Okay, because I can we can co-brand it, so you guys can blast it everywhere with the info that I'm about to tell you, everything is on there already. Super easy. Let me see, where's my desktop here? All right, here we go. Okay. Bear with me, I am not very um, techie. Do numbers, not computers. Where's my home page here? Here we go. All right. I do have the list of all the professions. I'm gonna, we're gonna go through the list so you guys can see it. Ooh, I got another camera, woohoo. <laughs> Hi. All right, for you guys here. All right, so the Hometown Hero program is for first-time home buyers, guys. That's the first thing you need to know, first-time home buyers. There is, okay, and this is something I tell you guys because you're my realtors, and you understand this. It's very confusing to explain this to a buyer. So if you have this scenario, what I'm about to say, just um, bring them to me so I can kind of filter out the information a little bit and see if they would actually qualify. Um, the program is designed for somebody that does not have a primary home, okay? So for example, if it's somebody, and this could be a case. Mom and dad, I live with them um, and I'm, I'm, I'm on the title of the property, right? We see this all the time. My mom and my dad put me on title to their property because if something happens, I'm going to get that house. Great. You're not a first-time home buyer because you're already on title. But 
but we can show that you're rent free. You know, you just finished college, you're moving out, you want a primary home for yourself, and we might be able to qualify. Okay, so that's a little star next to that information. Not to broadcast it out there, I, um, to uh, because then obviously everybody's gonna be like, oh, I don't care, I have a home already, I want to qualify, type of thing, right? But just have that in the back of your head. Let me know. We'll talk over with the, with the client directly. Alrighty, so first time home buyers for now, that's the rule. And the flyers that I'm gonna send to you guys is going to say first time home buyer. Okay. Now, this hometown hero program is what gives us this 5% of the loan amount, not the purchase price, loan amount. Yes. Now, this is a second lien on the property, like a second mortgage. The, the clients are going to have like an open debt open account with the county right um of whatever it was that they gave them so let's do some math okay if we buy a four hundred thousand dollar property okay do the math with me four hundred thousand dollars the client is putting average five percent down they are going to finance three hundred and eighty thousand dollars that is their loan amount to those three hundred and eighty thousand dollars you multiply five percent three eighty times 5%, the client will receive $19,000 to your, their, their closing cost. Yes, 5% of the loan amount, not the purchase price. They are going to have this in an account open for 30 years. They have 30 years to pay this money back. Yes, they have to pay it back. It's not forgiven. It's not that, oh, well, but if I stay in the property for 20 years, or if I stay for 25, 29, no, no, they have to pay it. Obviously, we know that the average person stays at a property after, before selling another one, uh, selling that one and buying another one is what, like seven years is the national average. Um, so before the 30 years, they'll probably sell it, they'll pay it off with the proceeds of whatever they make from the house, or they'll refinance it. And it's the same thing. Okay, if not, when they make their last payment, they are going, the program is going to get a notification, and they're going to know that they paid off the first mortgage. So they're going to start collecting this money okay zero percent interest is the other very important thing you borrow 19 you pay back 19 you're not paying interest on this money this is why this program is so good all right all right so any questions so far any questions anybody I don't see, let me see the chat maybe. I have a question. Yes, go ahead. Is this is this for a, a specific period of time? I noticed that it starts June 1st, 2022. Is it, will this be an ongoing program or is it for like a specific time period that- um, Very good question. People have to get on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good question. So this is until they run out of funds. So we really don't know when. And this is with any um, government program. Whenever they run out, that's it. They close the program. So with this being said, that's why I said it's a very good question. To you. When we're selling this out to our, to our buyers, okay, we have to tell them we got to move fast. It's not that all oh, qualified to see if I want to buy next year. No, let's get qualified and see if you can buy to buy now. Because you don't know if three months from now, they're going to run out of funds. And that's it. You know, like, well, you won't you won't be able to qualify anymore with, right, with this help. So very good question. They have about a little bit over 10 million, 10, 10 million dollars uh, that they have. Two weeks ago, I had a training. They were I think they had used like one percent of it. Obviously, this is new. It's just starting. We haven't even had it for a month yet, uh, but people are taking advantage of it already. OK, so awesome. Let's see, any other questions? Moving on, awesome. So we can do FHA and conventional for this type of program, guys. Sometimes, um, well, we used to have, or we still have the HR thing, uh, which gives the client like $10,000 to closing costs and stuff like that. And before, well, during COVID, conventional closed down that program and it was only FHA doing it. This one, they're both, um, they're both, I guess they both jumped on, you know, they're both allowing it. So um, this is obviously very good because we don't have any restriction there. FH 
conventional. I want to show you guys a little bit of the, here we go. One second here. This is the list of all the professions, okay? Ooh, another picture. Hi, Sydney. Hey, what's going on? I didn't know my camera's on. <laughs> <laughs> Please keep it on. Come on, this is boring when you guys are not here. <laughs> I need human interaction. <laughs> all righty, so this is the, I'm gonna send this to you guys in every single chat, all the chats that we have. Um, I have a PDF so you guys can share it as well. If the person is not in this list, if the profession is not on here, they won't qualify. That was, I mean, they they talked about that they were very strict. But then again, you know, if you have a certificate, they really think that they qualify, send it to me. I'll send it over. We'll try to push it. The worst they can say is no, right? But if they say yes, we can do it. So um, go through the list when I send it to you guys in the chat. Can you guys see it or you need me to zoom in a little bit? There we go. All right. So the people that qualify for this type of program is going to be first time first responders. Those are uh, usually obviously on here. Firefighters, um, nine, even the nine one one public safety communicator, which was really nice when I saw that down here. EMTs, police officers, medical field is a big one, right? There's a lot of medical professions on here. Uh, they just have to make sure that they've certified with the state of Florida. All of these people need to have a license from the state of Florida. It cannot be a college here in Hialeah that they wanted to get certified and they've been working for 10, 20 years. They don't care. It ha they have to be certified with the state of Florida. Very important. Okay. And again, if you guys really don't know, you don't want to get too much into it. You would like for me to verify, just let the client know, send me a copy of your license before doing anything and let's verify. Okay. Um, teachers, this is another good one that they added here. Certified educator to include, and it's these right here. Nothing more than the training they asked for. I think they asked for like, um, what was it? Uh, the principal of the school. Oh, their principal, can they do it? Whatever. They said flat out, no. Okay, so it's these right here. And again, stay licensed. Very important. As you can see, they add the, the, um, the website where we have to verify their license and they're going to do the same thing when we submit the loan to them. So we have to make sure that the number shows up on the system, their license number. All right. Let's see what else we got on here. So this we're going into the medical field now. Nurses. I've had a lot of pre approvals already with nurses. Um, so if you have RN right here, register nurse, amazing for this program. I think I just opened something. But I'm okay. okay. Let's see what else we got on here. Do you guys have any maybe scenarios? Anybody that has already asked you? No, oh, do you think I qualify or not that you want to verify now in the list? Anybody? So then um, certified medical assistant, home health aid. This is also a good one, okay? Um, they have really very, very unique um, occupations, which is really, really good. Pharmacy as well, pharmacy also on here. Dentist, that's a big one too. We've gotten a lot of dentists as well. Um, anything that has to do with speech language. Mm, let me see what else we got here. Nutritionist. I saw this one. Very cool. Athletic trainer. Okay. But again, it can't be like, you know, I, I don't know. I have a bunch of clients. I'm self-employed and I just train people. Okay. Cause they, they have to be certified. Um, what else? What else? Massage therapist. That's another one. If they're certified, we can do it. X-rays. Amazing. And well, you guys get the point, but I just wanted to go through it in case you guys had any questions on, on a specific one right now. Okay. I am going to send this on the chat as soon as we're veterans. 
they are the only ones that are exempt from the rule of um, having a primary home. Okay, so if they have a primary home already and they want to buy another one, they don't necessarily have to sell that property. They can just rent it and buy a new one, a new primary home and buy with this program. They have to be active. Okay, very important. They have to be active, active veterans. They're the only ones that are they exempt. Have, do they also have to pay it back or no? Yes, that's for everyone. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's, I mean, it's, but I think it's really good that for active ones, they, they're, you know, they're exempt. Why would a veteran take this versus a VA? The VA, 0% interest, but they have 0% down payment, but they have to pay closing costs. Here is this money. Imagine 0% down payment, and then you're also getting your closing costs paid for. Paid, obviously, for now, you don't have to worry about having the money now. You can always just have another 30 with that money, you know? Now, do you get one or the other, the 5%, uh, 25,000 for um, closing or um, down deposit, or you can actually split it between the two, closing and It just gets deposit. applied to the total. It just gets applied to the total number. It gets applied, usually down payment, but it gets applied to the whole total. What you cannot do is use this money for over appraised value. That has to come from your pocket. So you said this is zero down? No, that's for veterans, VAs. That's okay. Yeah, that's different. Okay. Frozen. Did we lose him? Yeah, I think so. I think we're froze. Well, I'm back. There you are. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I, I found myself talking to myself. I was like, hello, guys. Are you there? <laughs> okay. Can you guys hear me okay? Yes, now. All right. Awesome. 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 Let me see. I think I have to share my screen again, right? We lost it. Okay. Technical difficulties. Let me see. Mm hmm. All right. Wow. Only three people showing their face out of 30. Hmm. Oh, ooh. four, five. Okay. Okay. Oh. Nice, guys. Come on. It's because we multitasking. <laughs> yeah, we here. though. I need to see, I need, I need to see emotions. I need to see reactions, you know? You got to show me some yeah, love. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm driving. Just talking at a screen. Just talking at a screen. Hi, Nancy. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Steve, over here. iPhone number six. I don't know. I don't have a name. Okay, cool. <laughs> Woo. Somebody else. What's your name? Natalie. Natalie? Okay. Hi, Natalie. Hi. Awesome. All right. Driving, guys. It's okay. It's okay, Chris. That's fine. All right. Let me see. Sharing again. Sorry about that, guys. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Let's see. Next training on when you audit the office. 
in person. Okay. What, what, what am I sharing with you guys? Here we go. All right, back to the income limits. So Broward County, 136,000, okay? Miami-Dade, obviously the highest, you know? Miami-Dade, we're at 146. Actually, it's not the highest, Monroe County, it's highest. Okay. 146, what does this mean? And I just had this scenario, yes, yesterday. I have two nurses, uh, they are a couple. They're gonna buy together. This would be the combined income limit. Yeah, so it's not 146 for one, 146 for the other one, no. If they're both professionals, they're on the same loan, it's 146 for both of them. So it's for people that are going to be on the loan. Another example, I'm a nurse. My husband is, I don't know, a mechanic. Same thing, the loan income on the loan cannot exceed $146,000. Does that make sense? Sydney, you can ask. No, I'm, I'm kind of lost here. Whoa. Sorry. So whoever is going to be on the loan, right. yes, the combined income cannot be more than 146. So if we're both on the loan, it doesn't matter if you're not a professional or one of these professions, it's you will still have to add it up and it cannot exceed 146. So if they're making more than 146, they actually won't get approved for that they don't hometown? Buy. Yes. Wow. Okay. Which, Wait, how, how much is Broward's? 136. 136? Yeah, right here, 130. Thank you. Okay. I think you froze again. I think we lost her again. Tap you. Huh? Cindy, did you say something? I think we lost you for a second. Uh, I think I lost you for a second. There. No, we lost you. Oh, you lost me? Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. Myself again. <laughs> All right. Awesome. There, but... We're doing great, guys. We're doing great. <laughs> okay. So the what I was saying is that this, what's also really good about this program, it's the first time I see it like this. Usually, government loans would cap you at a specific um, purchase price. So let's say, oh, you can buy, you know, you can only buy up to $318,000. Okay, what am I gonna get with three hundred and eighteen thousand dollars? Yes. Did you uh, share this, or where can we get this here? I'm gonna share it as soon right. as we're off the call. I'm gonna share it on the I chat. Think you already put it on the okay. chat on one of the chats, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I shared it in in Doral because I did a training on this yesterday. So um, to finish up my thought here, there is no purchase price limit. The only limit is the regular loan limits for FHA and conventional. But that is up to 500,000 though. At the end. That is, up. no, no, no. All they copy on is income limits, just like FHA. FHA, oh, you can't go above a, a, a loan amount of $460,000 and then conventional 647. You guys remember this, right? That at the beginning of the year, they increase, they increase the loan limits. Yes, no. Okay, so FHA and conventional, they each have income limits. If you go, let's say conventional, 647,200, that means that you cannot, you cannot borrow any more than that. Yes, you can buy an $800,000 property, that's fine, but you have to give the difference in down payment. That's what that means, okay? So what's good about this program is that they adopted the income limits of FHA and conventional, right? They didn't copy on top of that, so we can, qualify for the maximum FHA and conventional. That's what I'm trying to say. They don't, they don't, they don't, um, they don't leave you on qualification. And the other very, very important thing about the Hometown Hero program is that the minimum credit score is 640. Here, credit, boom. It's 640, 660, one rosy. Here we, now. Here we go. FICO minimum is 640. Okay, so usually FHA, you know, we can do as low as 580. Not, not in this case. Not in this case. It has to be a minimum of 640. 
again if you guys have anyone that maybe doesn't have their credit 640 doesn't mean they can't qualify it just means we have to work on their credit first we can do a rescore we can bump up their credit and get them there to be able to qualify okay obviously this is only for purchases so you can see here no refinances okay obviously purchase uh let me see what else they can have a, a co-borrower right like husband whoever's going to qualify with them it's no problem and let me see question guys questions if they have a co-signer do both of them have to have this morning or just one is fine does the co-signer have to have what sorry like if, if they have a husband or wife, do mm -hmm. both of them have to have the 640 or one is one is fine? Yes, yes, yes. In two, when we have more than one borrower on a loan, the bank will always uh, go with the lowest credit score. So they both have to have minimum 640. Yes, very good question. You have good questions. Nice. All right, so I'm going to send you guys this list. I'm trying to see if I'm missing anything else um, when it comes to the program. Um, I don't think so, I give you guys everything. Um, I have branded, I think I already told you, uh, but I'm making branded uh, flyers. I already have them. I've used them with some lifestyle agents already. So remember, if you guys want a flyer for this and to blast it in your social media let me know send me your your, your photo and we can make it co-branded and that way they can call you for you know all of this um guys with this if i can just go outside of the program and now look at it from a selling perspective right because we're we're in this business we're selling right you guys are selling homes you guys are selling to your clients to be able to obviously make a relationship with them okay and then for them to buy with you so it's very important what we say, how we say it to obviously give them the value and show them the value of everything that we're telling them. So with this program, what I've, I've gotten some people saying, oh, but it's a loan. Okay, great, uh, Mr. Borrower. How long has it, would it take you to save $20,000? Oh, well, you know, uh, I've been saving for the past whatever years. But you know, I've had to use the money and then I went to Punta Cana for a week and I took my family and I had to get the money from there. Okay, then my point here is use this by now and then you have 30 years to pay this money. Zero percent interest, guys. It's the same thing as the buyer waiting five to 10 years to come up with $20,000 or five years, two years, three years. Little by little putting into their bank account. It's the same thing. And most of the time, again, they would not have to pay for it from their from their from from your pocket because they're probably gonna sell the house or refinance it. Okay, so that's 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 the um, I guess the selling perspective to to talk to the buyers because once they hear oh, it's a second mortgage, oh my god, I have another debt, it's just they just go crazy. Okay. They really go crazy. Some of them, oh my God, yes, give me money for sure. Yes, Ooh. but then you have <laughs> other um, borrowers that they're just scared of everything. And it's okay because they're first time home buyers. It's okay. All right. We just have to open their eyes a little bit and, and let them know that they can play around with this money. Okay. So that's that's one. Um, I, I have a lot. If you guys can follow me on social media, I would appreciate it. I do post a lot of videos um pretty much like you know talking to buyers not only buyers but obviously for you guys too if you guys ever want to have a copy of those videos to post or repost i can tag you you guys can repost them um i am talking a lot about the hometown heroes now as i get questions here and there um i try to make videos about them let me see i have a few things in the chat give me a second um I post videos about it. Like, I got a question about this. I got a question about that. Because sometimes you might have that question as well. You saw the video. There you go. Okay. Same thing with, with the clients too. And the other thing, and this is for you, not for your clients. Um, the other thing about this program, I'll get to the questions now. The other thing for the with this program is, yes, the income limit is actually, I would say it's a little low 
for for the professions because usually doctors what i've seen doctors and even nurses uh get paid more than this and they won't qualify for the program but guess what this is your chance to also grab those clients and buy with them and, and buy you have a prospect right there you have a client that wants a home right so then let's get you a home fine you didn't qualify for this congratulations you get paid two hundred thousand dollars a year right so now let's get you actually qualified and let's make a plan so you can buy and these people are going to buy probably over five hundred thousand dollars okay so it's another thing for you guys to think about with this right to go a little bit like i said a little bit outside of, of what the program is actually for okay let me see questions on the chat mm -hmm. Who do I have here? Uh, issue with the cameras or not? Driving, yes, Chris. Uh, that's the. I, I have a question. Yes. Okay, so I have a married couple mm -hmm. that that wants to take advantage because uh, the wife is a teacher, mm -hmm. and I spoke to her, and she's interested into this program, okay. but she, you know, she's married, but she was she can't buy the property by herself right like once you're married they need to they need to buy it together uh, he does not have to be on the mortgage but he does have to sign a closing yes if they are a married couple the other person has to sign a closing if they are buying a primary home which in this so he case, needs so yes. he needs to be on the deed yes okay yeah Yes, I know. <laughs> it's like, mm, well, I really don't want you on there, but we're still married. <laughs> I get yeah. those all the time. Yeah, because you know, because down the line, you know, things get complicated, things don't work out, because you know, in reality, you know, uh -huh. it happen. Yeah. But yeah, she's yeah. just trying to secure her assets. I mean, uh, out out of her marriage, but I mean, you know, it's something. It's things you know we need to think about. You know, yeah. Once you think yeah, that yeah. big step. <laughs> so look, with that, <laughs> I love when I get this question because people like clients usually start this like, Lo, you know how things are in Espanol, obviously. Oh, just right. say una cosa. Yo, I don't want, you know, my stuff and whatever, my kids, you know, usually how it starts. So it's yeah. really, really cool yeah. how I get eased into it and I already know what they're asking me. I'm like, yes, sir. Well, um, but with this, guys, what I usually tell them and most of the time, they tell me that obviously the, the other person is probably not going to do this is just to have a, one of the, um, it's a, you can do a title or you can do it with a, with a lawyer where they refuse, you know, all interest in the property. Okay. Yes. It's harsh. Um, most of the time people don't want to do it because obviously they know that they're already, you know, an owner of a property and they're probably not going to do it. It depends on the relationship they have, right? Okay. But it is an option and we're here to give them options they and help them make a decision so if they have this question hey yes you can buy you can be on the mortgage by yourself that means that your husband is not going to have a mortgage under credit but they have to sign you are going to be fulanita de tal a married woman and they have to sign a closing and they have interest to the property because you are married and a married couple is assumed that you are guys are going to live the primary home together right That's the reason why okay but yes after closing you can always have this document, have him sign, him or her, whatever, have him sign yeah. for, you know, giving up interest to the property. And that's right. it. That uh, one more question. Is there, an, is there an expiration date on this program or is it just until the money runs out? Until the money runs out. Yeah. Yeah. Got gotcha. you. You know where we're at? <laughs> uh, we're starting. There's still a lot available, but don't tell that to the clients. Just tell them to move <laughs> back. <laughs> For sure. They're like it's almost running out. Let's go. People are moving fast. Right. No, no, so <laughs> all right. All right. That's all. Thank you. Awesome. Of course. Uh let me see what else I have here. Eridania. That's the tricky part of the program. If you want to jump in and remind me what part this is, I would love to talk more about it. Uh Steve. Steve O. Oh, I didn't see the O. Steve O. Where can I where can we find the spreadsheet? Uh, I'm gonna share it on the chat, guys. Okay, I'm gonna share it. Let me see what else. Lydia, yes, thank you for giving me your email. Um, is it true that the main person on the loan gotta make at least 80k? Uh, no, there's no minimum, there's no minimum income for the person. It's just 
whatever, you know, whatever they're, they're going to qualify for, we still have to pre-approve the person. We still have to pre-approve them. Send me the list of documents. We're going to go ahead and review your income credit and the money you have available because they're going to get a credit, but they still have to put some money, obviously. It does not cover all of the cost. Um, so we still have to pre-approve them and they're going to get pre-approved for whatever their income and credit, you know, the, whatever their debt to income ratio is. And then we apply this program. So no, there is no minimum um, income that the person has to, to have to qualify. Uh, where can I reach you? Where can I reach you? I'm going to send my info on all of the chats. And then can I have your email, please, to send a picture of the branding? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and send uh, my information in the chats. And you guys, if you want, just message me privately with your picture. Or you can just send it there so everybody has it, whatever. It's fun. What's your social media? My social media, for the ones that speak Spanish, have my brand that I'm coming out with, which I'm very excited for. Most of my clients are uh, English, uh, Spanish speakers. Uh, but obviously, I speak English, as you guys can see. Um, my if In Spanish, is Rosy Resuelve. Okay? Again, Rosy Resuelve. I'm going to send my, my card in the chat in just a few minutes, guys. Rosy Resuelve. I'm going to put it on here, too. Let me see. I have more questions. I'm getting to you guys. I'm getting, I'm getting to you. Okay. okay. There you go. That's my Instagram. Who else do I have here? Boom, 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 boom. What's your social media? I just sent it on the chat here. Go follow me right now. I'll follow back. Let's see. Where can I get the flyer to post? Um, I, I will, I'm going to send the flyer that I have right now. It's not branded, like with your information. But again, if you want your information on there, nice, cute picture, send it over to me um, via WhatsApp. And then I'll, I'll probably send it to you guys either today or tomorrow. It's quick. If a client surpasses the income limits, are there any other options for them? Diego, if you're still on here, I am about to answer your question. Yes, you are. Okay, so yes, there are other options. Uh, it will probably not be with a down payment assistant program because this is the program that has the highest income limit, okay? The other one, that's the HFA of Miami-Dane, their income limits are like a 50, uh, no, 90. $90,000 a year. So this is the highest one. Okay. They can just qualify regular FHA conventional and we just make a plan for them to maybe get a gift from someone or, you know, we'll get creative. Uh, what else? How many years does the person have to live in the property for the hero's loan to be forgiven? It is not forgiven. Okay. Not forgiven. Mm -mm. I already asked. Not forgiven. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you live there 29 years or 30. It is not forgiven. Um, what else? The loan is not forgiven. It has to be back up. Thank you, Arizani. Awesome. Follow you, you now. Thank you. You mentioned blank flyers. Send me your number to WhatsApp you. Yes, I'll send it now. Hi. Um, all right. What else? What else? What else? I was just, I just got something right now. Yes, Daniel, I'll follow you. Um, I was going to tell you guys something and I forgot. What else? What else? What else? Oh, okay. Yes. Very important. There's some people, some, some of these professions that they work as a 1099. You probably have friends. Uh, usually there's some nurses that they're subcontracted, um, and they get paid the 1099, they don't they don't have a certain answer like a, a specific answer for this a 100 percent answer for this but if we have someone like that i am not turning them down okay we are reviewing their information and i am trying i'm gonna go ahead and try to push it as long as the employer employer quote unquote because if they're 1099 they really don't have an employer but let's just make sure that they have somebody that can vouch their hours for them Okay, so if we have somebody that can fill out a verification of employment, that can let us know that they've worked there from this time to this time, and they've done their 40 hours a week, or they do 60 hours a week, because sometimes these people are the most that, that work, right? The ones that are 1099, we might be able to do it, okay? The 
pro the problem with these guys is that this program was designed for W2 people. That's the whole thing. It was designed for W2 people. They didn't really think this through um, because there's a lot of doctors, nurses, massage therapists that they don't really have 40 hours a week. There's no nine to five type of thing. These people work for a client and they get a lot of tips and right. So I've gotten a few of them because I have my massage therapist. She was the first one I, I called. I called her. I'm like, I have a loan for you. We're going to buy a house this year or whatever. And then obviously she's 1099. Uh, so I already asked and they are open to reviewing these scenarios. That's good guys. That's like a yes. So we are going, if you have somebody like this, send them over. I'll still review their information and we'll try obviously to get this, to get this verification of employment. Obviously they have to have somebody at their job that likes them very much to do this. Um, but we can do it. We can, we can get a verification of employment, send that out to them. I'll make sure that they review it before we actually go on their contract or I give you a pre-approval uh, to make sure that we're good to go and we're not going to have surprises later on. Okay, so this is for 1099 people. It's a little iffy, but I think we might make it work depending on the scenario. All right. Genesis, let me see. There is never a dumb question, guys. Only the ones that you do not actually um, ask. Uh, is this different from PRMG? This is a government loan. This is this is a program that you know the, the whole state of Florida is is giving. They will have to obviously be qualified and their first mortgage, meaning the actual mortgage of the property. If they qualify with me, yes, it would be with PRMG. PRMG is. Um, uh, what's it called register and accept it to to give out this program and process it you said you will put your email number on the chat right yes ma'am i will as soon as we're done here so our teachers on this list of jobs are qualify if so a client is a teacher do they have to have certification degree yes teachers do qualify again it has to be they have to have a certification in the state of florida very important. It cannot be, I got my degree from Hialeah University and now I'm a teacher. Mm -mm. State of Florida. If you're not sure, send me a copy of the, of the certificate. And I'll let you know. Um, what else? Always need to show certificate when applying. Yes, always. Yes, they require it. Certificate and a verification of employment. Can this program be used for a conventional loan? Yes, Michelle. Yes, it can. Conventional and FHA. Thanks, Hialeah University. I know, I know you guys like that one. <laughs> All right, guys, any other questions? I don't wanna to take too much of your time. Okay. Okay, we're good. No more questions. No more questions. Awesome. All right, guys, so, whoop, Michelle. Yes, I, I did have one question. Can you hear me okay? Yes, I hear you. Okay, I have a client that he bought, a, he's, a, he's a nurse practitioner, but he bought a property under his business name. Could he still qualify if he buys a property under his name since, it's, since he already has a home in Florida? <laughs> but it's not a primary, it's an investment property. The that one was, he owns. That was going to be my question. It, where is he <laughs> now? He's renting? He's renting? He has it rented out. Yeah, he has it rented out. No, no, I mean... Where is he living right now? Oh, he's in New York right now. Okay. But he wants to buy a property here. To, like, let's say thing, he wants to buy it to, like, for six months of the year, live here in six months of the year in New York. Is that possible? My first answer will be no, but I would love <laughs> to speak with him to get a little bit more of information of exactly what's going to happen there because that sounds more like a second home than a primary home. Uh, yeah. So yeah. Okay. When I send my info, let's talk. Send me a message um, in the chat, and and we'll we'll have a screening call with him. No worries. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Of course. Yes. Thank you. It has to be his primary house to qualify. It needs to be a Florida resident first. Right. Yes. And the certification has to be from the state of Florida. It has to be from the state of Florida. This is my WhatsApp number, guys. I put it here on the chat here. Uh, and then I'm about to send everywhere on our chats the my information. Any other questions? 
going once, going twice. No? All right, awesome. All right, guys, so I'm gonna send my information. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Next training, I either want you guys in person or I need to see your faces, okay? Because this is not very fun if I can't see you. I, I'm always, I'm looking at Sydney all the time. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> no? <laughs> my camera's right. still on, dang it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> all right, guys, uh, I've been saying bye for the past, I don't know how long. So I'll let you guys go. I'm sure you guys are very busy people. Go sell homes and start blasting this everywhere. I'm going to send everything on the chats now. All right. Bye. Bye, Steve. Bye, 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 bye. Guys. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. How do I end?